Huge thank you to Kohl's for sponsoring this video. Morning was very eventful and well. Make it make sense. I feel like all of our moms loves the Kohl's cash. This is hot. This is sexy. Y'all tag me in that stuff. Good morning. Do we want to curl my hair today or do we want to straighten it? I'm kind of down to straighten it. Let me go get my straightener. Oh no, I think it broke. Guys, this has been my all time favorite straightener ever of my life. I thought it was just the outlet in the other room that wasn't working, but I think it broke. Ooh. Oh, okay. I guess that settles the debate. We are obviously not gonna be straightening my hair today. I mean, this is my natural hair. It's definitely like not slick straight. So I guess, I guess I'll just. Oh, curly hair. <laughs> this morning was very eventful because randomly our smoke alarm went off and was saying fire. So obviously we, I didn't even turn this on. Obviously we did what one would do, you know, freak out for a split second, but then it stopped. We check everywhere, can't find anything. We're looking outside, we're looking on the like security cameras, nothing, we don't smell smoke. It happens again. So I was like, okay, what's going on? Luckily Ashley came home like right then, so she was helping. And normally when our batteries are dying or like dead in a smoke alarm, it'll just like beep. I've never heard it say fire before. So I was like, oh my God, there's a fire. Like there's an actual fire. Plot twist, there wasn't, of course. We checked the attic, like we check everywhere. I looked it up and it just said it could be the batteries or something, but it hasn't happened since then. So who knows, you know? But that was my morning. All right, we are fully ready now. Honestly, I'm glad I ended up going with the curled hair. Today's honestly kind of a busy day. I have a lot of random just stuff at home to be doing. Like there's some sponsorships I need to get done. I have some like emails. I have a lot of editing that I need to get done. So today is definitely like a full content work from home influencer type of day. So if you like these vlogs, let's go. I'm gonna show you a little behind the scenes of everything. Also, I didn't show you guys yet, but in my room tour, I asked you guys if you had any ideas to hide the cords and stuff. The truth was, is I got so impatient and I was just ready to show you guys the final room tour. The interior designer actually came yesterday and she took some photos just for her personal like portfolio and stuff and she kind of like restyled a lot of things and I love how she did the bookshelf and she used a lot of the stuff that I had she like brought a few things too and she had someone come and fix the cords I didn't even know that was like part of it like they literally put it in the wall it's insane Ooh, if we crawl under here, there's no more cords. They literally like put them in the wall. I just like iconic. I don't know how. I honestly have no idea how they actually uh, did that. I also noticed they put a different outlet here. These are what they Oh, cause the mirror wouldn't fit. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, I need to clean that too. Exciting. And they also swapped out the light that was behind the mirror. So now it's so much brighter, which I love. Cause during the day before you couldn't really tell, but now it's so much brighter. And I like, I'm just, I'm obsessed. Little update for you there. I also, I filmed a haul. Maybe that'll be this vlog. I filmed a haul the other day and today I was going to do like the try on portion of it. I meant to do it the other day, but then my stomach ended up hurting. And I was like, not good. Like y'all, I was unwell. Unwell. <laughs> so we didn't get that done, but today we're gonna. I have all the clothes ready on my bed for me to do that try on portion. I think this is my first fall haul of the year, which is exciting. Drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. <laughs> we got a haul. I'm out of breath. Lately, I've been very out of breath. Like I just came up the stairs. Make it make sense. Welcome to a little haul unboxing. I'm actually really excited because I'm working with Kohl's and I wanted to do a video already that was like me shopping at stores that I don't usually shop at. I remember I saw Nikki do this in a video and I thought it was such a cool concept. Then they reached out and I was like, oh my God, like the nostalgia I have of going to Kohl's and shopping for like school or whatever. My mom loves the Kohl's cash, you know what I mean? I feel like all of our moms loves the Kohl's cash. Like who did, who doesn't? I just personally haven't shopped there in so long. So they reached out and wanted to work with me and I was thinking this is perfect because it totally goes with the video concept that I wanted to do. Where I basically shop at stores I either never shop at or haven't shopped at in years and kind of just like see what they got, you know? Little shopping challenge, if you will. So everything I ordered, I kind of had fall in mind. Now keep in mind, 
I live in Southern California, so our fall is still 90 degrees. Maybe you don't think some of these things are really fall, but I definitely do. Okay, this is hot. This is a maxi dress. This is cute. This is the brand Almost Famous. I got size medium if you're curious, but it's like a long ribbed maxi dress, right? It has slits on the sides. And then the front is so cool because it has this like bra part. Also, this quality is actually like so thick. My favorite part about this is definitely the top. Like the, it almost looks like there's a bathing suit. Like this is, this is hot. This is sexy. The next thing that I ordered was a pair of shoes. This is from Madden Girl. I've always loved Madden Girl. Again, I don't know if it's the nostalgia, but I feel like they have good quality shoes that are super cute, super trendy. The girlies are barking, but I just got these like big platform sandals. Surprisingly, I don't have shoes like this and I don't like being that tall, but sometimes you just need a shoe like this. That's not going to kill your foot. You know what I mean? Cause like the platform and everything. I wanted to style these with socks because I love that trend for fall. Like genuinely one of my favorite things. Crew socks, knee high socks, tights, like, ooh, obsessed. I'm sorry. How cute are these? I keep thinking about all those TikToks that are like making fun of YouTubers, specifically me, being like, oh my God, just so cute. Like, they're just like so cute. Like, mm, so cute. Guys, stop. They're like so cute. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Y'all tag me in that stuff. Y'all tag me in that stuff. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, mark my words. One of the trends that's coming back are like Letterman jackets. I'm not gonna say like bomber jackets also, but Letterman jackets, like baseball jackets, like track warm up jacket. Like 2016, there was the bomber jacket era. It's gonna be similar, but slightly different. And I really feel like baseball jackets and Letterman's jackets are gonna have their wave this fall. I've already bought like three. <laughs> this being another one. And it, obviously it's not an actual Letterman's jacket, but the style of it just very much feels like, you know, like you're borrowing your boyfriend's Letterman jacket. I'm obsessed. So this just screamed fall to me. Like it has the varsity vibes. I also don't really have any mustard yellow colors ever really in my wardrobe. And I've, I really wanted to get stuff that I wouldn't normally get. I normally would never buy this, but why is it? It's really comfy because this is so oversized. I definitely want to like crop and fold up the shirt underneath, and like tuck it into my bra. Okay. This is cute. I love that. It's actually pretty thin of a jacket because when you're layering stuff, especially when it gets so hot here, like you can't wear super, super heavy stuff. All you need is a light jacket. Name that movie, comment below. Okay, I saw these and I feel like normally I wouldn't get them, but I wanna try them because I think I could style them cool. And the waistband's like this ruffle ruching and then the material's really soft, but this is definitely something a little out of my comfort zone. I can see my sister really having this, but I wanted to challenge myself and like actually style it in a way that I feel like I would really like. Okay, the shorts I'm actually obsessed with, I did not think I was gonna like them. I think I styled them pretty dang good though. Brown oversized blazer, brown boots. I really like them. They're really light, which I like. I love how high they come and I love the pockets. I think I just found a new short style that I am obsessed with. I like how like, oof, they're just so comfy, but they look put together. I'm gonna rate these a nine out of 10. Like I really, really like them. I just wish they didn't wrinkle as much, but that's kind of just because I'm lazy and I never wrinkle spray or iron anything. <laughs> it's simply Vera by Vera Wang and they're normally $44. Is it a fall haul if you don't have some sort of leather jacket? Okay, this is the jacket on. I really, really like the color. I also like how it's kind of like a bomber. Like it has the, like a ribbed stretch at the bottom. One of my favorite ways to style leather jackets in fall is with a hoodie underneath. Hoodie, why do we do it? We do it because it makes it look so much more chill and like an, a day-to-day -day look, but then you take the hoodie off and then you have a night going out jacket. And I feel like you get a lot more for your money that way. Slay. We also, we got another skirt. The next one is this tennis skirt. Not me literally blending in with my wall. I like this type of outfit makes me so happy. I not only am just obsessed with like tennis scores right now. I'm like, I love them. I don't think anyone would guess that I got this from Kohl's. 
I think we've been sleeping on them. I also love that they approved this video concept. Like they know people have been sleeping on them. They're like, yeah, like shop at a store you haven't shopped at in a long time. How cute is this skirt? I'm hoping this fits really well because when I think of fall, I think of plaid, flannels, skirts, and like a leather jacket. Like that's what I picture with fall and boots, obviously. I saw this flannel skirt. I also love that it's like a two-tone plaid. Like this side, if you can tell, has like darker with some pink. And then this side is completely different. Okay. At first, I didn't love the skirt. I'm not gonna lie because I was wearing it like this. And I was like, this is cute. Then I added some boots and I was like, this is cute. But like something about it, I felt like, felt like I was trying to look younger than I am. Like it looked very cute, very, I don't know what I'm saying. You get it. Then I added the blazer, which I felt like made it so much more mature feeling. Even with these glasses. I would wear this. I really would. I'm not loving the boots that I chose with this. So I think I would choose different boots, but as a whole, like I like this vibe. I love the turtleneck, love the blazer. Like looking in the viewfinder, I like this, but I think just maybe more like heel boots versus combat boots. I need to play with it, but I love the two-tone. Black denim skirt. This is a staple. I love a jean like denim skirt. Like I'm shocked. I love how it's like actually high waisted. It's also a little stretchy. Just keep that in mind if you get the exact one and you're like curious about sizes. But I like how it's stretchy because I don't like I feel like I could dance in this. I feel like I could do a cartwheel. Also with the shoe. Like I'm come on. So cute. It's also not a micro skirt, thank God. I hate the micro skirt trend right now because like it doesn't cover anything for me, like anything. I mean, this absolutely just screamed my name. Honestly, it would really be cute with these camo pants. Like, that's cute. This is what I'd wear if I was just at home, like hoodie and sweatpants. And then if I had like, you know, a lunch and meeting or something, just throw on a blazer, you suddenly look like you have your life together. Like, you know what you're talking about, you know? Okay, that's my haul. Thank you again to Coles for sponsoring this video. My battery is about to die any second, so I'm gonna go charge it, so. <laughs> But before it dies, I just wanted to show you the very quick aftermath of filming a haul. I swear it's impossible to not make a mess when you film a haul. And I always dread cleaning it up, but we gotta do it. So I'm a flop and I didn't end this vlog. So I just wanted to come on here, you know, say I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Again, huge shout out to Coles for sponsoring. And um, I promise I will end the next vlog, okay? <laughs>